Welcome to Blue Talks. Hi, everybody. Welcome. Hello, New York. I'm so excited to be here. Thank you for having me. How many of you, I would love to know, this is my burning question, how many of you, you know, somebody has told you something, they swear that it is right, they swear they're telling you the truth, but you maybe have a feeling that something is off, something is just not feeling quite kosher. You explain that to them, you share that with them. They swear up and down they are telling you the truth. You start doubting yourself. Your inner resolve starts cracking. And those thoughts creep in, hmm, maybe, maybe I was wrong. I want to believe them. They have to be right. And let's face it, it's easier to assume and believe somebody's right rather than rock the boat, right? So, you decide to believe them. But somewhere down the line, you find out that you were right all along. How many of you has this happened to? Right. That is because we have this incredible inner barometer of truth we can depend on that's reliable but for some perplexing reason we are taught to discount it or not give it merit or not heed it, its credence it will always show us the way because energy doesn't lie it's all energy everything is energy these chairs that we're sitting on this room that we're in right now and since everything is energy, we're all connected. And we all have the ability to read between the lines, which as a professional, intuitive, and medium, I would love to show you firsthand today exactly how that happens. I would love to give those of you who would like to participate a reading. I would love to read your energy for you. Is anybody interested in doing that? Amazing. I was hoping you would. I was like, oh my God, I'm so in love with you already. <laughs> Amazing. Okay, so, and I will get to everybody who wants to have theirs read, and then we will go from there. Sound good? Amazing. Okay, so first of all, we'll just set the intention. So we're just going to call in and forth 100,000 angels to surround and protect our sacred space. We call in and forth the highest, most benevolent beings of light would most serve to use me as a channel, a medium, a messenger, and however else you see fit, according to Divine Bill. We ask that any information that comes through for anybody here be for everyone's highest good, greatest interest, most amount of healing, and we ask that everybody gets the exact wisdom, guidance, and messages that they are supposed to to help move them forward on their soul's journey in the most love, light, and joy as possible. Sound good? Perfect. Okay, so first of all thank you for letting me read your energy when I get a name come through if the name does not resonate with you that means that it is somebody that I know so I'm going to share there's a fellow stepping through for you he feels like he's older and he shares the name helmet do you know somebody named helmet who has passed over okay so if you don't know somebody in helmet, like I said, then that means that it's somebody that I know that will have the same traits. So I teach mediumship classes, so I like love to give like just a little, little, little lesson at the same time. So the man that I know, he is older. He is white hair. He is a brilliant um, artist. However, this guy is not say, saying that he's not an artist, but he um, it feels like he's been through a war. Um, it feels like there's three siblings, or is there three of you? Thank you. Don't tell me anymore. Let me let it come through. Thank you. Um, 
Thank you, and I just got goosebumps as confirmation. So those are called truth bumps when that happens. Okay, thank you. Did somebody, this is gonna sound funny, did somebody cut your hair? Did your mom cut your hair when you were little? He keeps saying hairdresser, and he's like making a joke out of it. Was it like this joke, and it was like this terrible thing that like actually wasn't great? Does that make sense? Yes. Yes, okay, thank you. <laughs> that, so they'll just give you confirmation. I feel him really, really big here. Um, it feels like it's a father figure, but then I also get a grandfather from your mother's side. Um, and I feel like, do they live overseas? Okay, thank you. Like they imported, like they emigrated. Thank you, thank you. Um, I have goosebumps everywhere, so that's so amazing. That means that, it, um, that, means that he wants to come true. Um, this is so fascinating. Okay, do you have a science background or did he have a science background? This person who's coming through, it feels like it's a father. Do they have a passion for science? Was there something like finicky that he liked to do or that you like to do? Yes, thank you so much for letting me read your energy. Anybody else would like to get done? Yes, yes, amazing. Um, sorry? No, sorry, I didn't hear you. Okay. Do you know, name somebody Christine? Somebody named Christine. Okay, thank you. Is Christine passed over? Okay, thank you. So that means that it's somebody that I know who is Christine. So the Christine that I know is she is this vivacious woman, full of life. She loves crystals. She's an energy worker. Isn't really good about showing that. Um, oh, this is so fascinating. They're actually saying that this is you. Does that make sense? Thank you. Okay, perfection. I just got goosebumps as confirmation. They're also showing me that you have an aunt that is coming through. I'm not sure if she is still, oh, thank you. Yes, she has passed over. Um, was she like your, oh, goosebumps, like crazy, thank you. Um, was she like your person, like your confidant, like you guys were just, thank you. She's very, very, very much with you. Can you please give me some evidential proof? Was there a burn involved, a burn, a cat, anything like that in your life or in her life? Or did she like nature? I see this barn. I see these open barn. fields. Barn. Sorry, I didn't know you didn't hear me. Oh, no. Barn, barn, barn. Was there a barn involved? Did she like nature? Did she like big open spaces? Did she live near a farm? Did she grow up on a farm? OK. Oh, there's a barn at her house. Perfect. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Because they just are giving me evidence. So then you guys know that it's real. So then you can know that it's real. Um, she says that you have a treasured collection of hers. Does that make sense to you? Is there a treasured collection? Is there something that she passed on? Jewelry, crystals, books, something like that. No? Hmm. It's so funny because then she's like memories and I was like, yes, but, but evidential, please. Pictures. Do you have pictures of her, this treasured collection? Did she keep pictures? Did she keep photo books? Do you have those? I have photos, not her, but mine. But are they from her? Are they of her? Okay, thank you. This is what she's trying to get through. She like keeps on showing me this in my head. Okay, thank you. And did she have a pension, or do you have a pension for movies? There's something to do with movies. Like, do you love movies? Did she love movies? Um, oh my gosh, actually, hold on. This is in regards to your love life. Is this okay that I share this? Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, if not, it's okay. Um, so it almost feels like the energy of it is like knight in shining armor energy. It's like, because then she, where she took me, and she's like, movies to romance, um, films and novels. I was like, okay. So do you want this knight in shining armor? <laughs> He's coming and she's bringing them to you. I see within three months. Okay, so that doesn't matter. So, so that doesn't matter. All that can mean is there can be a transition happening, whether you up level in your current relationship, whether you, but there's going to be something significant specifically. She told me three. So I don't know if it's three months, three weeks, or three years. It feels like something related to a trip of massive reconnection. I have goosebumps everywhere. 
Yeah. Um, there's something around 50. Um, are you past 50 or are you around 50? Thank you. Um, was that a very significant time for you? She wants you to know that she was at that party. Does that make sense? Did you have a party for that? Mm -hmm. No. Did you have a celebration for it? She showed me a dinner. This is what I, this is. It's like a celebratory dinner for like your 50th birthday. That's, a, that's okay. She's showing me that anyhow, and she wants you to know that she's with you during those celebrations, during those things. So that's amazing. Thank you so much. Do you have any questions? I was hoping my dad was going to come. Oh, okay. Actually, I love that you're doing this. I love that you're doing this. Okay, hold on. I know I only have eight minutes left because this can go on forever. I read tons of, I do tons of this. Um, I do tons of group sessions. So um, that's okay. I would love to know your father's name. What is his middle name? Frank. Thank you. So funny. Okay, so he's, I was like, oh, you feel kind of little. He's like, no, I'm tall and robust. Would he that is. make sense? Okay, would that make sense to you? Okay, don't tell me anything else. Let me see. Does he wear glasses? Yes. Thank you. Um, Oh, thank you. I was asking him to show me of, um, how he passed. Does he have something around his heart or lungs that felt hard to breathe? Thank you. Please know that that is confirmation. Thank you so much. Okay, he's so good. He's so with you. I have goosebumps everywhere. He actually wants me to show you something really phenomenal. Why don't you take a breath, one hand on your heart, one hand on your tummy. Why don't you close your eyes? And I want you to feel on your right hand shoulder that little cold breeze. Can you feel that? That's him. Thank you. Just so you know that he's always there. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Anybody else? Yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Perfect. Perfect. <sighs> Positive change maker influencer here for the highest good. We know this. We saw you up here, but we want to we want to know more. Do you know somebody named okay, so again if the name doesn't resonate, somebody that I know. Do you know somebody named David? Who is would be passed over young child? Okay. Do you know or have somebody, a nephew, a child, who passed away younger, like under seven or eight years old? Because that's the David that I know. Okay. So, interesting. Okay, thank you. So, they're saying that he's a wise soul because here, I will tell you, I'll give you a little basis. I have a cousin who passed away and he was young. His name was David. That's the correlation. But he has been teaching me so much about spirit. So, and I know he's an old soul, very old soul. So there's an old soul that is coming through for you. Something about a garden. And I wanna say like petunia, but it's not that, it's a pea, it's a pea flower, like not an actual pea. Does any of this make sense? Does any of this resonate? It feels like a woman, I'm not kidding. It feels like an older woman. Um, yeah, that makes sense to you? I'm going to say flower, yes. Okay, thank you. Um, this is really weird. She shows me like the little Smurfs. Was she like playful, like to have fun, very outgoing? Does this make sense to you? Yeah. Okay. I have no idea what this name means, but I feel like you need to Google it to see what the correlation is. And if anybody here knows, please let me know. Dolores Cannon. You know who that is? Yes. Does that make sense? Yes. Perfect. She teaches past life progression and life between lives. Perfect. So this makes she sense to you? She passed away. Yeah. Amazing. So I I'm never studied with her, but I've done her type of work. So this is validation. I have goosebumps everywhere. Please know that they want you to be doing um, more of that work. And this person who is here, um, is here for you to 
help you to progress um, to move to next level. This is a great starting point, but it's almost like I see you doing what I'm doing now. Yeah. And I teach people how to do this. So if you want to know, we just put through a class of like 18 people and nobody thought they could read and every single person could by the end. Because we're all born with this innate ability, right? It's just we have been taught over our lifetime to quiet down the energy. It's just subtle energy that we're able to read. And everybody and anybody can learn how to do it. Would anybody else? Is that, do you have any questions? Well, I was just curious, the flower name was my grandmother, Rose. <gasps> she showed me Rose. I'm not even kidding. She showed me Rose, but then she kept on. OK. Yes. Anyhow, yes. I but the goosebumps. Oh, OK, perfect. I called him Truth Bone, so whatever. Yeah. That's amazing. But it was funny, because I was like, it's a P name. It's a P name. Did she ever, what was this? What was her name? Rose. Oh, right. What was her um, last name? Friedman. Interesting. Anyhow, she kept showing, were, were the roses more like vines, though, or did she like a bush? I'm not sure. OK. Anyhow, she's there for you. Thank you so much. Amazing. Yes, yes, yes. Amazing. As soon as I connect to your energy, your energy is so gorgeous. I feel a ton of water around you. Water feels like it's your home. Water feels like it is essential for you. Does that make sense to you? Do you have this affinity with water? Do you love water? I don't know what that means. I'm so sorry. I don't know what that means. Yeah, you like water. Okay, but there's something very grounding and nourishing about you. But um, for it, but they're saying that there's going to be a divine reconnection. I don't know if you want to go to Hawaii, but there is something in Hawaii for you. I'm not kidding. My heart is like even having palpitations here. Like wild. You need to go there for an activation. I can feel this throughout my whole body. That's what it feels like. Uh, for some reason, I'm not good at this part, but they said the word with the K-A-U, Kauai, Kauai, that's it. <gasps> oh, and a lavender field. I don't know if there's lavender fields there. I have huge goosebumps everywhere. You're supposed to go and literally be with it. Are you getting confirmation for that? You're like, oh, yes. Um, yes, I'm not kidding. Like, yeah, it's, am it's amazing. And I see a photo shoot happening there. So it feels like you're developing your brand. It feels like that there's something with that. Please know, I don't know what you do, but whatever you're doing, it's something with divine feminine work that is helping collective to heal. Does that make sense? OK, perfect. Thank you so much. Um, do you have a son that you want to hear from, or is there a son that you're concerned about? Do you have a son you want to hear from and son that you're concerned about? There's a son here. Okay. Yes, I do. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you. I could feel it. I was like, it's right here, it's right here. So thank, thank you for letting me. I'm sorry this is coming through. I knew I was going to read you, but you didn't ever put up your hand, and I only have one minute left. So um, has he passed over or is he still here? Um, I don't know. I think he's still Thank you. Okay, so they're actually saying that there's going to be a complete turnaround. Um, and for some reason, you will know this. It I have goosebumps everywhere, thank you. And there's a grandmother helping to facilitate this reconnection. This reconnection is going to happen. I can feel it within all of my being. Any questions? Does his name Michael? Uh, no. Does he have a, was he a big, big guy? Is he like a big guy? And I don't mean fat. I mean like big guy as in um, tall, I guess, bit like robust, like big shoulders, yeah. smaller waist. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. I don't know if there's an addiction there, but it feels like he's going to be healed. Okay. That would make sense. Okay. Is there any message about a daughter? I'm not picking up anything about a daughter. Okay. Thank you guys so much. I love doing this stuff. I facilitate all kinds of this stuff all the time. Everything is just energy. This kind of stuff is just learning to read subtle energy. We all have the opportunity to do this, and we can all learn how to do it. And it really gives us power. It gives us our power. It puts us in a place of empowerment. So then we can follow our intuition, which can lead us to this most extraordinary life. Because if you guys knew, watch my first talk. It went from wild to this, so this is amazing. I'd love to connect with any of you who feel called to reach out. 
and this is how you can. There's my website, there's Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, all the things. Thank you guys so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.